I'm going to show you how to measure gauge. And the first thing you want to do is knit up a gauge swatch. And I like to work the edges of my gauge swatch in uh, garter stitch so that it lays nice and flat. And you want to make sure you work a nice big area. So you want to cast on at least four inches worth of stitches plus a little bit more to give you some breathing room because you don't want to measure your edge stitches. And then you want to treat your swatch just like you would treat your garment. So if you were going to wash it and block it, then you would want to do the same thing to your swatch so that it'll give you an accurate measurement. Then you can use one of these um, gauge swatch measurers and you lay it on top. You don't want to start on the edge. You want to start somewhere in the middle of your fabric. And you want to line up on the bottom of your stitches and then on the side also. And then what you do is you count the number of stitches you have in this two inch section. So here we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half stitches in that two inches. And usually your patterns are given in four inch, so you would just multiply that by two so you could see how many you have in four inches. And then similarly for counting your rows, you just line up a row evenly over here and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, about 10 and a half stitches for your row. And you can see um, how important it is to measure gauge because I, I knit all three of these swatches with the same um, number of stitches, the same number of rows, but with different size needles. So you can see how different all these swatches came out just by using a different needle size. So that's why it's important to measure your gauge so that you make sure you get an accurate representation of um, a garment, especially something you're going to wear like a sweater.